Hi, this is Jenny from the lab, and on this video I'm going to talk about how we perform an air collection. And I've kindly asked Dr. Florencia to join us for a more in-depth explanation. So, let's go. Hello, I'm Dr. Florencia, and today I'm going to show you step by step how we do an air collection. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first part for an air collection will be to have a cannula inserted inside the vein for the patient then to be brought to theater and this is the bed that we use to collect the eggs it's the same bed as any gynae procedure so you will be familiar with it because it's the same as you would have for for example an smear test once we check all the details with the embryologist then we're going to start with the sedation it's a combination of two drugs that help us to keep the patient relaxed and sleeping during the procedure okay so once the patient is relaxed on the bed the first thing we're going to do is to clean all the vagina with some swabs we have water as well so everything is going to be clean inside before we start once this is ready we have the cover of the probe of the scan we always need to use some gel that help us to have a good view and after covering the probe we're going to have the guide of the needle attached to it so it doesn't move okay everything is ready to start so i have the scan and here i have the needle as you can see it's pretty long but in reality only a very small portion of it is going to be inserted inside the vagina something like this more or less only a few centimeters so i'm going to show you here how the aspiration system works basically I have a pedal under my foot that is connected to this backing system and once I press it all the follicular fluid is going to be aspirated into these little tubes now as you can see in this video this is a real egg collection the needle goes inside each of the follicles we make sure that we aspirate everything we see so in this way we increase the possibilities of having more eggs then after those little tubes are going to be passed through the heart to the embryologist who is on the other side and they're going to analyze all the fluid to see how many eggs we collected hi there as dr florentia just said the follicular fluid is collected in these tubes that are on a heated stage and once the tube is full we pour it on a 60 milliliter dish like this one First, we make sure that there's no eggs stuck in the tube. And then we proceed to search for the eggs under the stereoscope. The human egg under the stereoscope looks like a fried egg. As you can see, the egg would be the yolk and the cumulus cells surrounding the egg would be the egg white. When we find an egg, we aspirate it with the glass pipette and we move it into a five-well dish that contains GMOPs. We use GMOPs as it allows us to maintain the correct pH for 10 minutes when working outside of the incubator. Once we've collected all the eggs, we wash them in a five-well dish that contains GABF. GABF is a media that contains all the necessary components to support the eggs. And we wash them in this media because the final dish where we place the eggs also contains GABF. And then we place the dish containing the eggs in the incubator. Well, they'll be nice and cozy.